warehouses to office blocks, rough pubs into trendy bars, greasy spoons to global brands. Replaced by high-rise new ideas and brutalist abstract reminders of great walls that used to be. The walls that wrap the city mile, the list of names from long ago, if they could see what we could see and some can see what we can see, for they can see through living eyes. At St. Luke's, they're tending tiny seedlings. Felicity sleeps in silver shoes. She says she's 99, but she said she was 97 last week. No, it's Pat. I don't really ever get called Patricia, only when I go to hospital. Dunkirk, Burma, North Africa, the whole thing started like a cruise. Kicked out of Crete, Sicily, D-Day, George and Harry fought the war. We'll tell you the places we went, but we won't tell you what we saw. That's a no-no, because you've got to stay positive. Loss of empire, smog-bound streets, austerity in monochrome, and then on and on until today. Oh, yes, things have changed. A hell of a lot. Change. Those short, long lives that are a blink in Smithfield's eye, where once resounded calls and cries in Latin, Celtic, clashing tongues, all seeking shelter in the wall that ringed the fortress temple trade, and wealth that always has been here, the magnet sun of fable warmth, money, trade, power, sights and smells, life and death, people and animals all shuffled together to warm themselves within that glow. And in and out and round and down and gone and there and gone again. And children, once workers, now in school. This school is built on a graveyard. His dad dug up a dead body. That's a lie. They made them stop digging to bring in those people. And the lady with the Porsche who shouts at the children for kicking the ball, but it never hit her car. And people have parties and they keep us from sleeping. And the lady that's a warden, she helps us to stop them. But it's always different people. You don't know where they come from. I do, no, wait. They come from Airbnb. Fusing and separating, exiting, entering, live side by side, both unique and the same. Back then we lived in a one up, two down. 14 of us kids, mum and dad slept downstairs. I don't know where we slept, but we always found somewhere. There were kids everywhere. It was heaven, but it was hard. And then they pulled it all down. They never asked no one. They just pulled it all down and we all moved away. High rises, nicer, cleaner, more spacious, much better view. It wasn't the same. It was never the same. But you have to move on. Well, that's what people say. Now hairdressers and barber shops and broken glass from Friday night and dragon crested star strung bollards marking boundaries red and white and black once wrapped in walls that stopped the fire in 1666. In Fortune Park, the London plane trees, fresh with sap, hear social sounds. Talk of ailments, babies, food, Bill and Nikki and her feet. They're stealing our sun from here, you know. They're putting up a tower there. There'll be no sun in the afternoon. They don't care about people. Just profits and cash. Picnics under spreading trees. Spreading petty bourgeoisie. A mural reads community and cats on stealthy secret missions, fleeting over concrete streets out of pubs onto allotments where squirrel gangs steal tender treats and trees stand silent under sentence. Banners come to their defense, held up, hand drawn by children. We need our trees, we need our trees. They just don't want the trees around. A paid surveyor wrote that letter. They just don't want the trees around. A thick black suitcase sits discarded. Towers climb on either side. A voice rides past upon the air. It's not a bomb. It's been there weeks. 
Beyond Pie Corner stands St Bart's. The green-clad first responders sit coffee on a well-earned break where body snatchers used to lurk. And up and on, and then inside in cafes, walkways, hospital smell. People come, people go, and some engrossed on mobile phones and thoughts are thought and then forgot and wheelchairs pass and life moves on. And time glides by at different paces, slow for Iman and his drip. My tumour, the doctor just told me, it's getting smaller, I'm very pleased. The staff are friendly, it can be lonely, the food is good, it's a very nice view. Yet slow for porters, ever waiting, wheelchairs ready at the door. There was art here once, lots of upside down teapots that hung from the ceiling. Well, they said it was art. I remember this old building, it was so different, it's all changed around here. But there's still east and west. Oxygen cylinders, mobile food trolleys, folders of notes and bright plastic clogs. Worry, sorrow, just staying human. Ticking clocks and magazines, a freeze of quickly shifting faces, fear and relief, hope and love. A waiting room of folded outcomes, just keeping on, we're just giving up. And the man with the snack trolley, twinkling clown angel, sells a snack, cracks a joke, reaches out and finds a soul. And the ghosts of past nurses in stiff collared blouses, pinafores, capes, stride in pairs through the quad. Stories written, stories passed down from hand to hand to mouth to mouth, fusing and separating, exiting, entering, stories upon stories, both unique and the same. Building the thing we think we are, from the thing we think we were, to what we think we ought to be, or perhaps the thing we'd hope to be. An ever-moving synergy that offers our uncertainty the lifeblood of community. Of trees and wheels and cats and words and thoughts and smells and tastes and sounds and deeds and upside-down teapots and discarded suitcases and life and death and hope and love that offers our uncertainty within our shifting frequency, the lifeblood of community. <laughs> I don't know if we're in a garden.